All right, folks, uh, a good early evening. Friday the 24th of May, it's just shy of 6 p.m. We got a few significant things going on here. Um, a number one paddock system has started. This is what I call the house paddock for obvious reasons. That just happened. You probably can't see it's a brand new calf. It was born about no more than 10 minutes ago. This is the paddock that I commandeered for some sweet corn patching. Now, truth be told, I probably could have done this what's here in half. I didn't. I normally, when I open this, I just open the whole damn thing up. This is day number two out here. Uh, we got uh, we got some damn good grazing. Calves all over the damn place. <laughs> okay, so grazing the paddock system has started. It's off to a good start. Uh, they're either going to clean this back up tomorrow, which they'd be pissed off as hell. They're either going to clean this up with a little supplemental alfalfa baleage because I do need to use that stuff up. Or I'll make a decision in the morning to where they're, uh, I'll just, I'll kick them out of here. And they'll start a third of another paddock. In fact, that's so gosh darn thick, it might be even be quarters on some of these. Okay. The other thing we got going on here is thus far a record's been tied. Um, I've had multiple, multiple instances where there's been five calves in 24 hours. I just had the fifth calf in the last 21 hours. There's room for a sixth. We'll see what happens. Add to that, I'm on a big bull calf run, uh, which don't hurt my feelings. Um, four out of the five bull calves, of course, they're steers now. They've all been tended to and doctored. I'm not running up to see what that is. I am going to take a drive by to check Mama's number. I'm pretty sure that's 11, 1120 or 1102. I got a glimpse of her. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. What we're not going to go do is go down there and run amok. I'm not doing that. They like to make their convoys. Of course, they go up there to the water. I've got the one water tank set up. I need to set the other one up tomorrow. I mean, the one's sufficient, but I like two of them up there. I moved their mineral tub up by the barn. The reason this is fenced off, half-ass fenced, there's a drain in here, and I don't want them in here. There's no need for that. But yeah, they convoy up there, and then they they hang out out here. A lot of the calves stay back. They'll join mamas for a bit, come back, but then the calves will stay. And so, yeah, we did just get done with a little bit of rain. I mean, we're talking a sprinkle, sprinkled for a half hour. The weather pattern changed. I'm all hooked up to the disc and, disc and maintenance for uh, running like hell for this operation tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, we've got about four to five hours worth of rain starting tonight at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We'll see what it is. We'll see. I'm going to take you for a small spin here. We're not going to interrupt Mom. We'll do a drive-by. Then I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you this paddock. Still a lot of grass in here, but of course. 
course, they pick through the, the stuff they want first. This is yet to be tilled up. This is going to be another sweet corn run. Of course, you know what's over there. And a leaning fence pole. Um, truth be told, uh, I guess I'll say welcome back. It's I've, I've actually, I think I've got five or six videos to upload. I was gone uh, the beginning of the week. And uh, while I was gone, we got one hell of a nasty ass storm here. A lot of people had a lot of damage. Thankfully there was none here. There was one little limb on the fence behind the barn, but the amount of moisture that came with it was uh, pretty, pretty significant. Which halted all field work for a little while. I should have gotten crafty with a bunch of fencing and I will do that when they come in here for the second time. I opted not to this time. <clears throat> and then of course, as you know, once the sweet corn's gone out of here, which is quite a long time from now, they get everything and they just mow this down to nothing. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing what they do. Temporary fencing. They treat this kind of like a brick wall. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do a quick drive by because I want to get her number and document it, but then we're going to leave them alone and get the hell out of here. <coughs> Good girl, good girl. opened up the uh, the hill for these heifers that grass up on the hill is almost waist high they haven't found it yet I'm not chasing them they're gonna because they're out of baleage and they're gonna start searching that corner right there you can probably see my side-by-side -side tracks going up so yeah they're in for a hell of a treat once they find it I 
we've now got four weaned off Holstein steers. They're in that lean-to uh, right off of the barn. And I want, I gotta tell you, that's some of the hardest wean-offs I think I've seen. Uh, holy smokes. They sure go through hell, or they put themselves through hell. All right, anyway, enough about that. That was a bull calf. Some of you might have been able to see that. Uh, 1107. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, uh, that's five, five for five bull calves in uh, less than 24 hours. Um, that's never happened here before. Uh, things continue to go pretty, pretty excellent, kind of. We do have a problem. I do have a beef calf and a hutch. Um, it's an awful shame, too. <coughs> He's blind. Blind as a bat in both eyes. He's a good little tiger. Uh, but uh, what a what a poor introduction to uh, to life here for him. The truth of the matter is we're going to see what he's like in the morning. He only wanted a quarter bottle tonight. This morning he took down a bottle, a full bottle like a champion. I got a couple sulfur tablets in him because that's one of my fixes. He was full of vigor, full of energy. Um, we're going to see what's going on in the morning. But... Uh, I honestly don't have an answer of what to do with him. For the meantime, until I figure it out, of course, he's in the hutch. Uh, <laughs> you know, I got enough to do around here to include taking care of a blind animal daily. Um, he, he's worth a mint right now, but he's blind. And, uh, I, I don't know what that would do for the sale price. It'd probably not be good. And I'm not in the habit of giving things away. I can't afford to. Another part of me says... Well, the only other part of me says to just just raise him. Obviously, hutch raise on milk replacer if he's if he does okay, <clears throat> you know. And then it's going to be pen raised, pen raised from there on out. Pour the grain to him. I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about it. Yards are in absolute awful shape. When I was hooked up to the uh, cultivator uh, with the wings up, I actually lightly put the cultivator down. That's why that somewhat nice trail is right here. I plan on doing that to the entire yards. They're just awful. Awful. Uh, from this winter and all the uh, the spring, I should say, and all the uh, all the ruts that were put down. Um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, this is a first for this farm, uh, a fully complete blind calf animal in general. Uh, I've, I've got two, uh, one blind eye cows out there. Uh, and sometimes that just comes from them getting something that getting into something that they shouldn't have gotten into, or of course an injury. But this was, uh, you know, blind from birth. That This is a first for me. So, I don't know. Sure feel sorry for that little guy. I really do. We've got three Holsteins left uh, in another week. Without looking at my paperwork, these two are going to be weaned off. And then about, uh, let's just say a week later, he'll be weaned off. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to I, I, I <laughs> So I got my fix. My fix of milk, m making milk replacer in the mornings and tending and doctoring to calves and the close, you know, eagle eye. And 
sickness and all that other stuff. I was looking a little bit forward to stop buying milk replacer. We'll see what I decide with that little, the little blind bull calf. Um, I don't know. That's it. I've actually got a quite a bit to do here yet. There is a gathering. Actually, it's an annual all weekend gathering. Of course, it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, not that I really consider Memorial Day weekend to be a party. We're not going to get into it. But nonetheless, an annual very nice gathering of lots of my acquaintances. Is, uh, well, it started last night. A um, bunch of campers and all that other stuff. Uh, I'm thinking about taking a nice little run. And I can, I can get there on the trails with the side-by-side. -side. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I hope we skip out on a lot of the rain that's forecasted tonight and I'm hoping like hell to pick some big stones out of that field first mid-morning and then doing a proper full-on disking we're uh I'm not gonna say the word late yet but it is it's time now it's time and of course, if you keep up with the channel, I really only have one bout of, uh, you know, field work and planting. And that is the, uh, you know, about the 16 acre uh, corn, corn field for, uh, you know, corn silage. It doesn't matter. Extremely important. Yeah, that's Miss 1200. This 1200 was the first heifer born last year and decided to lose her tag. We'll get you another tag soon. We will, just a matter of time. And it's gonna be in these lock stalls, I can assure you that. They continue to get a pail of grain every night. It's not like they're getting a lot of grain folks for you know the, the condition and all that other stuff for them, but uh, it's mostly for training. Um, getting them in here, put them putting their heads through the headlocks, and they, they're all good now. But I'm going to continue it <coughs> because uh, I'd sure like to get half of these, if not more of them, AI bred. Um, I've got a real nice calving ease sire, a new sire for this farm this year for uh, for heifers calving ease. Um, I never did run through my sire list for this year. I'm going to have to do that. But I'll just tell you right now, the sire I picked for these heifers calving ease is Brickyard. Brickyard is a full black Angus, obviously from Genix. And um, we'll see what we can do. I ended up with 11 heifers. My rule was 10, 10 every year. It just happened to where I have 11, and I'm good with that. And uh, they're doing real good. But you girls need to find the opening to the hill because you got glory up there. You just don't know it. Now, they're completely out of feed now. So they're going to start trying to get everything they can on these sides for grass. Well, they're going to find the opening. Long story short, tomorrow morning, they will be up on the hill. They might even be up there in the next hour. They've got some hay there, but all I have left is very, very unfavorable garbage hay that I was guilty of making last year. <clears throat> I got caught in a rainer with a bad weather forecasting. I know that's a simple, easy excuse, but that is what happened. And uh, we sure seem to have a lot of that these days. Whatever. You roll with the punches. That's it. This video's 20 minutes. That's, uh, that's a little ridiculous. Um, things to do and might bark at the moon for a bit here later. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Five bull calves in less than 24 hours. There's three more hours for this little 24-hour ordeal, and 
I'll keep you in the loop. We're gonna talk to you sooner than later.